In the realm of classic westerns, El Dorado stands tall as a testament to timeless storytelling. Released in 1966, this film, directed by Howard Hawks, weaves a tale of redemption, friendship, and the complexities of honor against the backdrop of the Old West. With John Wayne and Robert Mitchum at the helm, the movie paints a vivid picture of moral dilemmas and rugged landscapes, offering a captivating glimpse into a bygone era. Can you recall the first time you witnessed this tale unfold on the screen? Or perhaps there's a personal story tied to its impact on your life. We'd love to hear your cherished memories or experiences related to this cinematic gem. Share your thoughts and stories in the comments below. In 1966, a film starring John Wayne El Dorado hit the screens after a delay in its release. Paramount Pictures made sure it didn't clash with another Wayne movie, Nevada Smith. Directed by Howard Hawks, the movie took a light jab at Wayne's age by switching up his romantic interests, contrasting with his role in Rio Bravo. Wayne, who starred in Rio Bravo, aimed for the role of Sheriff J.P. Hera in El Dorado, but it went to Robert Mitchum instead. That's the scoop on the movies behind the scenes. In the realm of classic Western cinema, El Dorado stands as a formidable masterpiece, often drawing comparisons to the iconic Rio Bravo, even if director Howard Hawks vehemently denies any intentional parallels. The film, however, manages to carve its own niche within the genre, showcasing the remarkable talents of actors Johnny Crawford and Paul Fix, both familiar faces from the Rifleman series. During its production, El Dorado became a subject of intense speculation and gossip with whispers circulating about the health of the legendary John Wayne, concerns over Robert Mitchum's on-set behavior, and questions surrounding Hawk's directorial prowess. Despite the backstage drama, the movie emerged victorious, proving its mettle with a staggering 12 million box office success, a testament to the undeniable skills of its key players. Johnny Crawford and Paul Fix, seamlessly transitioning from the small screen to the grandeur of the Western landscape, added layers of authenticity to El Dorado. Their performances, complemented by the larger-than-life presence of John Wayne, elevated the film beyond mere speculation and solidified its place in the pantheon of Western classics. In the dusty trails and sun-soaked vistas of El Dorado, audiences found themselves captivated by the magnetic chemistry between the cast members, transcending the controversies that surrounded its production. The film's success not only affirmed the enduring appeal of the Western genre, but also highlighted the resilience of the talents involved. In the end, as the credits rolled and the box office receipts tallied, El Dorado stood tall, a testament to the enduring allure of classic Western storytelling and the indomitable spirit of those who brought it to life on the silver screen. This cinematic gem, with its rich tapestry of characters and gripping narrative, continues to be celebrated by audiences worldwide a timeless masterpiece. James Caan, sporting three-inch lifts, brought a unique dimension to the 1966 Western film. His portrayal took an unexpected turn when his impersonation of a Chinese man faced censorship due to perceived racism in television broadcasts. The movie's latter half, set predominantly at night, serves as Howard Hawks' metaphor for aging a visual representation of darkness encroaching upon the characters, notably Cole, J.P., and Bull. This deliberate choice adds depth to the narrative, subtly exploring the passage of time and the challenges it brings to the protagonists. James Caan's choice of footwear and the controversial cutscenes contribute intriguing layers to the overall viewing experience, sparking discussions about representation and directorial intentions in this classic Western. In the shadowy landscapes of El Dorado, the film skillfully weaves these elements into its storyline, leaving an indelible mark on its cinematic legacy. John Wayne, impressed by Christopher George's portrayal of a morally coded villain, promised to collaborate again during the filming of El Dorado. True to his word, Wayne later enlisted George for Chisholm and the train robbers. This professional camaraderie, born on the set of El Dorado, showcases Wayne's recognition of George's talent. In the film, Bull, played by Arthur Honeycutt, wields a distinctive 1D855 Colt revolving rifle, adding an authentic touch to the Western setting. The choice of this historical firearm for the character enhances the film's attention to detail in depicting the rugged era. Another subtle nod to history lies in the belt buckle prominently worn by John Wayne throughout the movie. Featuring the Red River D brand, this buckle pays homage to Wayne and director Howard Hawks' earlier collaboration in Red River. 
The use of this personal symbol in El Dorado connects the two films and emphasizes the enduring partnership between Wayne and Hawks. These behind-the-scenes details, from the casting decisions to the choice of props, provide intriguing insights into the making of El Dorado. They not only reflect the professionalism and respect among the cast and crew, but also contribute to the film's authenticity, making it a fascinating piece of cinematic history. Filming El Dorado in 1966 proved to be a challenging 84-day endeavor, surpassing the scheduled time by 24 days. Despite the extended production period, the movie wrapped up in late January 1966. An interesting tidbit is that John Wayne expressed disappointment over its release coinciding with his next film, The War Wagon. Ironically, both films, though criticized for being old-fashioned, triumphed at the box office, showcasing the enduring popularity of westerns. A notable aspect of El Dorado's production is the meticulous shooting locations. While daytime scenes captured the authentic feel of a town on location, all nighttime scenes were meticulously filmed in the studio. This behind-the-scenes decision adds a layer of craftsmanship to the film, illustrating the filmmaker's dedication to creating a visually compelling narrative. In summary, El Dorado's journey from a prolonged shoot to an unexpected box office success sheds light on the complexities of filmmaking. The clash of releases and the strategic use of on-location and studio settings offer a glimpse into the meticulous planning that contributed to the film's ultimate triumph. In John Wayne's 138th film, a 1966 western, El Dorado, interesting details add depth to its production. The poem recited by Mississippi in the movie is an actual work by Edgar Allan Poe titled El Dorado. Furthermore, a wanted poster featuring a man in a top hat smoking a cigar is a recurring element, also seen in The Sons of Katie Elder from 1965, another John Wayne stara. The film's trivia doesn't stop there. This marked John Wayne's 138th film, a testament to his prolific career. The same top-hatted wanted poster and Wayne's cinematic milestone contribute intriguing layers to the making of El Dorado. These subtle details, drawn from the movie's backdrop, showcase the careful attention given to its nuances. Such trivia, ranging from poetic recitations to recurring props, provides an insightful lens into the intricacies of El Dorado. In the world of classic westerns, these tidbits contribute to the movie's enduring legacy. As we bid adieu to the cinematic journey of El Dorado, let the echoes of its timeless narrative linger in the corridors of your mind. Like a fine tapestry woven by the hands of storytelling artisans, the movie whispers tales of camaraderie, resilience, and the undying spirit that weaves us all together. Now, take a moment. Reflect on the flickering images that danced on the silver screen, the resonance of dialogues that etch themselves into your memory. Maybe it's the rugged charm of a particular character or the haunting beauty of a scene that carved its place in your heart. Whatever it may be, let those fragments of El Dorado become a part of your own narrative. In this shared experience of storytelling, your voice adds color to the canvas of collective reminiscence. Share with us your cherished moments, your musings, or even the subtle nuances that unfolded unnoticed. Because, in the end, it's not just a movie. It's a piece of art that becomes complete only in the eyes of those who witness it. Thank you for embarking on this reflective journey with El Dorado. Your time and thoughts are the threads that bind us in the rich tapestry of shared experiences. Until our narratives cross paths again, revel in the magic that movies like El Dorado bring to our lives.